What up, everybody? I'm headed to work. I would like to give me a big ass tall cup of coffee and um, get to work so that I, I'm i gonna be taking off early. So I need to get there early to work. Now I'm at 6.54, so I'm not gonna get there early because I have to somehow accomplish all these things in a day. But to get back on the positive note, Let's get today started. Let's make today the best day ever and stick around for the words of wisdom. Please excuse the mess. Um, I'm in the middle of packing, getting ready to head back home. I just got home from work. Um, I'm gonna pack everything up, do some laundry and get that stuff out of the way and heading back to California. That being said, I'm back on the grind, like I said, and it's time. That time again. I know I was horrible for a while, but it is that time for the words of wisdom. Today's words of wisdom come from Alan Cohen. And he said, the following. This is what he said. He said, don't wait for the conditions to be perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. Don't wait for the conditions to be perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. What is he trying to tell you? I feel like as humans, we do the same thing. We always say that we're waiting for that perfect moment, for that opportunity, for that time to come to us. But guess what? Those don't exist in the real world. There is not the perfect moment. There is not that time where, oh, I have all the money in the world. I can do it now. Oh, I think she loves me. I can propose. Oh, I think it's a good time to fall in love. Oh, there's no such thing. There will never be a perfect moment to do any of those things. Whether it's to chase opportunity, go after your goal, attempt to get a promotion, take on a, on that challenge that you've always been afraid of, travel somewhere, take a vacation. The time is never perfect for any of the above and it will never be perfect for anything. You make the conditions that you have work for you and you try the things or attempt the things that you wanna do. So you make the, the conditions perfect for you. You make the conditions fit into what you're trying to accomplish. So quit waiting. Get your ass off the bed, get your ass off the couch, quit debating yourself, quit not believing in yourself, quit doing all those things the naysayers, quit believing with the, the things the naysayers tell you, quit, just quit all of that. Make the conditions perfect for yourself today. Start today, make the change today because the conditions will never be perfect. Those are the words of wisdom for today. So I don't really have much to say I head back out to Cali tomorrow, but here's something that has been on my mind and something that I've been thinking about a lot. And I feel like it's something that affects a lot of people, no matter how old you are, what age you are, what gender you are, what ethnicity you are. Um, as we're growing up in life, we're never comfortable in our own skin. We fear the things that we are obsessed with, that we love, that, that we appreciate, that, that drive us. We're scared of them. And we're scared of them because of the thought of what people will think of us. What will they think about? What will their opinion be of us? What will they think of me if I do this? What will they think of me if I dress this way? What will they think of me if I tell them my crazy idea? We always fear laughter, rejection, um, criticism, all the things that we should learn how to embrace. And I say this right now because I've always had a dream of, of being a successful entrepreneur and being a person who had more and 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 made money and and was independent and had passive income and didn't need to depend on the nine to five grind the day to day job that being said you're always afraid of saying the things that people might think of like really like this Mexican thinks he's gonna do this or even it's not and it's not even race it's like People would just look at you and think like, really, he thinks that he's that smart or he thinks he can do that or he thinks that it's that easy? No, it's not any of those things. But what you have to realize that in life, you will have naysayers. You will have people that no matter what you say, no matter what you do, no matter how much you accomplish, 
they will be the naysayers in your life. And sometimes those individuals are those closest to you. It's sad to say, and it's not that they don't believe in you or they don't think you can. It's just that they're constantly protecting you and don't want you to fail. But what I want you to realize is that no matter what age you are, gender, ethnicity, um, where you came from, whether you're an immigrant and not, not an immigrant, with disabilities, whatever it might be, is that if you have the drive and dedication and you become obsessed with what you want, you can accomplish it. I'm not saying it's not gonna, that it's going to be easy. I'm not going to say that you're not going to fall face first. I'm not saying you won't fail. But until you try, you will never know. And sometimes from those failures, you learn lessons that you implement later on in life or down the road. Or you meet people that will see how hard you work, how dedicated you were, and what kind of individual you were. And give you an opportunity of a lifetime. And by then, you will be ready to take on this. And you have would have learned from those mistakes you made. And I say this because I feel like we need to learn how to get more comfortable in our own skin And it's okay to be obsessed with the things that others are not. When I speak with people, I always tell them, I'm weird. I'm not the same. I don't think the same. I'm just not like everybody else. And it's not because I don't feel that way. It's because I personally have an obsession with these things that I want to accomplish. And after some events happened in my life, I was like, I I was too obsessed on all these things that I needed to do and provide and give to people. But then I realized that there's nothing wrong with my obsessions. There's nothing wrong with what I want to accomplish, how much I want to have, what I wish to have by certain ages, and what I wish to do by certain ages. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as my obsession does not harm you, does not get in your way, or does not interfere in your health or happiness, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter to anyone. And if you have an opinion, you're welcome to it. And if you don't believe in me, you're welcome to it. And if you want to be a naysayer, you're welcome to it. Let people do those things and not care about them. Don't worry about them. Believe in you. If you want to do something, myself, 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 I will do this. Me, myself will accomplish what I need to accomplish. And I will put in the work and I will be dedicated and I will blood, sweat and tears into it to the very end. And I guarantee you, if you have that mentality, that thought process, that drive, that determination, you will reach those goals you will be at the top of the top you will dominate the field that you want to dominate you will be successful in the area you want to succeed in but you have to learn how to block out the naysayers because they exist no matter what and the reason i say this is because i've recently come to another juncture in my life and i realized that I want more out of life and if it means that I have to continue to sacrifice because of the mistakes I made as a young adult, I'm okay with it. And I'm going to say this because I want people to laugh. I want people to be the naysayers because I want to realize that it doesn't matter what people think of me or believe about me, but I want to own 10 properties before I turn the age of 30, which is right around the corner. And I want my net worth to be a million dollars before the age of 35 and people will laugh at me and look at me like I'm crazy because I'm not even close to that right now if I looked at my bank account I'm probably in the negative but I say it today knowing that I'm going to get there and I'm gonna wake up every day and write this in a notebook every single day and at nighttime look at it again and know why I grind, why I don't sleep, why I keep pushing myself to the next limit and why I keep reading and trying to educate myself to be better than I was yesterday. So I'm I'm here to tell you guys, no matter what age you are, no matter who you are, it's not too late and it's time to turn it around and embrace the challenge and go after what you always wanted because if you want it you can accomplish it and it's never too late that's what I want to tell you guys today I know that it was um, like a rant and I'm on another level but I'm okay with being obsessed with what I want now it's okay if people don't understand me don't agree with me or don't even know what the hell is wrong with me but as long as I know that my obsession is what I want and it makes me happy 
I'm going to go after it and I'm gonna continue to pursue it at all costs. And if I fail, I will be the first one to stand up and say, hey, I went on this endeavor and I failed and it cost me money. But in the situation I'm not to, right now, it's not like I'm, I can say I'm a success. In my eyes, I haven't succeeded yet. I still have yet a lot to accomplish. So that's what I'm gonna go do. And you should do the same thing. If you suck around to the end, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like today's content and subscribe to the channel. And I've been being more proactive on all my social media outlets. So make sure to look at the links below in the video and subscribe to all my multi, mo, a little, all my social media channels because I've been posting on that a lot more and I'm trying to be more involved. And there's yet more and more that I want to do. And I'm on this whole net level right now that when I leave here today, I've refound my focus and I'm closing this chapter from where I was at here a year ago and I'm I'm back on my grind. I think I needed this and I've found that I'm determined again and there's a lot of things that I have to take out of my life and new things that I have to embrace and take on. So thanks for sticking around. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and start hitting the smash smashing hitting punching the thumbs up because I want to continue to give you guys what I feel and how I feel and allow you guys to grow with me so um, I hope you guys join me on this journey mm -hmm.